Tucker Carlson is not far right. In fact, he's kind of a moderate. He did a debate with Cenk Uger of the Young Turks and he was fairly agreeable. And now we have one of the most shocking things I've seen in a long time. Vox.com running a positive story on Tucker Carlson. Okay, for those that don't know, Vox is like a lefty, intellectual, social justice type website. But you know what? Tucker Carlson on why conservatives should crack down on vulture capitalism. Quote, I'm radical and that's what I want. I don't understand why I can't have it. Well, Car uh, Tucker, I completely agree. I think conservatives should crack down on vulture capitalism. And, and I'll tell this to the left. You are conflating corruption with capitalism. You know, I was just talking to a friend and I said this. Just because we have people gouging prices on insulin, just because we have corrupt people trying to steal money who are lying, doesn't mean we throw away the whole system and then just hand it over to a command economy. Okay? You think about how, what's going on with healthcare right now. Some jerk jacks up the cost of insulin when he doesn't need to. People suffer. Yeah, I don't like that, okay? That's, that's, that's someone being a bad person. But it doesn't mean capitalism is bad, okay? What it means is you got a bad person. What's the alternative? You get rid of the whole system, then hand it to some other group of people, and then it's like, now you've just guaranteed if those people are corrupt, they corrupt the whole thing. At least with capitalism, there's meritocracy involved. Not perfect. Not everybody's equal. That's too bad. Let's read a little bit about, about what they say, because surprisingly, Vox is writing a positive piece on, on Tucker Carlson. I'm pretty sure they, they, you know what? They fire, I'm pretty sure they fired that Carl Maza guy and work there anymore. Maybe they're turning over a new leaf. I don't know. They say, on Tucker Carlson's Fox News show last week, he accused prominent hedge fund manager and longtime Republican donor Paul Singer of vulture capitalism, an economic model that in Carlson's view valorizes ruthless economic efficiency over American communities. Specifically, Carlson referenced the small town of Sydney, Nebraska, once the headquarters of the sporting goods store Cabela's. In the segment, Carlson detailed how Singer's fund pushed Cabela's board to sell the company, ultimately merging it with Bass Pro Shops. Following the closure of Cabela's Sydney headquarters, roughly 2,000 people lost their jobs. As Carlson argued, the residents of Sydney didn't get rich, just the opposite. Their community was destroyed. The town lost nearly 2,000 jobs. A heartbreakingly familiar cascade began. People left, property values collapsed, and then people couldn't leave. They were trapped there. One of the last thriving small towns in America went under. Carlson's calls for financiers to hold in his own, in his words, some obligation to the country ar around them mirrors a viewpoint increasingly shared by some conservative commentators, one that's challenging right-wing orthodoxies around the role of the state in public and private life. No, stop, stop. They're, they, they, you know, this, this is, this is, I'm going to throw to Jonathan Haidt, okay? Liberals can't accurately predict conservative behavior. Conservatives can predict liberal behavior. Tucker Carlson is one of the most prominent and popular conservative figures. His position isn't new. The idea of protecting his community is not new. He's never been a far-right, laissez-faire, burn-it-all-down capitalist. At least my understanding is that. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Excuse me. Not big on the history of Tucker Carlson. But my understanding is that conservatives were always about having a government protect the community. Like, that's, they're not libertarians. It's why they're conservatives. Right now, there's a big debate between libertarians and conservatives about adult online content. But Vox can't seem to see this. They're shocked. You know, it, it's almost like they're, they're surprised to find that there's a conservative saying things they like to hear. Because I don't think the Democrats and the people on the left, you know, truly understand what the motivations are. I don't think they care for community. If you look at big cities, it's kind of obvious. Maybe, maybe, cor maybe the correlation is inverted, but you look at New York. Nobody talks to each other. You walk out, you, some, dude, when I lived in New York, I never talked to my neighbors. Never happened. In fact, I don't even know my neighbors here for the most part, but I do talk to them. We wave to each other. That doesn't happen in big cities. So Democrats are less concerned about protecting their community because they don't have one. Republicans and conservatives, typically people in rural areas, probably do because they know Farmer Bill and Officer John especially in really small towns. Sheriff, Sheriff, Sheriff Joe, they know who the sheriff is. He's somebody they, they see all around, protects their community. Liberals don't have that. So it probably distorts their, their, their view of things. The only reason they're supporting Tucker now is because he's criticizing capitalism. At least that's my opinion. They say a day later, Carlson returned to the subject of Singer, 
this time calling out Ben Sass, a Republican, who received donations from the financier. We're not saying Ben Sass or any other senator is doing Singer's bidding purely for the cash, but why not remove all doubt? If one of your biggest donors turned out to be a <laughs> censored uh, adult content provider or a mass distributor of OxyContin, you'd send, you'd send back the donation. You wouldn't want to be associated with someone like that. You'd want to be clear about your own values. Senator Sass should be clear about his. I disagree. Take the money. Use it for good. I have no... Pr Look, man, I get public perception. I don't care. You know, I, people donate to me all the time. And they get mad at me because someone like Paul Joseph Watson gave me two grand for my Sweden trip. I don't care. If you don't like him, just because I'm taking his money doesn't mean he dictates anything. I do whatever I want. He gave the money to me. It's my choice. I, could, I, could do what, I can do what I want with it, right? The way I see it is, if somebody gives you money, you're taking the power from them and applying it to what you want to do. I got no problem with that. Um, I, so I, if Ben Sass came out and said, we're, we're going to make sure these th kind of things don't happen, then fine. So be it. Local news outlets in Nebraska have cast some doubt on Carlson's version of what happened in Sydney and Singer's firm. Elliott Management responded with, uh, oh, and, 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 and Singer's firm responded with a Medium post in which it claimed that Cabela's financial health was far worse than Carlson detailed, adding that it felt the coverage was motivated less by sincere concern over layoffs and more by, by a desire to twist at any set of facts to portray Elliott in the most damaging light possible. It is a left-wing narrative right now that these, these private funds buy up companies, strip, strip their parts, sell them out, take the cash and run. But I think it's fair to say that many of these, these, these funds would keep the companies going if the profit was there. I think what they're seeing is these companies are failing. And I'll tell you what, T T Tucker Carlson, I'm, I'm sorry, man. I don't see these, these big sports shops succeeding. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm looking locally and, and they're not doing as well. I mean, I order everything I need from Amazon. Amazon really is destroying everything. So I'll tell you what, I respect T Tucker's appreciation for protecting his, his, his common man his neighbors. This is why I'm a fan of Andrew Yang. Yang's pointing out, look, man, these big retailers are new technology. It's disruptive. We can maybe break them up, but who, how many people want to go, you know, how many people want to use Bing? They don't. Amazon is a digital property where you can open a store and sell stuff. And that's, that's what people want to use. So it's displacing a lot of jobs. And that puts us in a difficult position. Is Andrew Yang right about the solution? A, you know, a thousand bucks a month? I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily think so. I tell you what though, He's right about the problem. And Tucker is right about the effects of the problem, but wrong about what's causing it. It's not because people are coming in stripping these companies like many people on the left or Tucker might say. It's because the companies are failing in the first place and they're being, they're being taken over. Malls are going to fail. Storefronts are going to fail. I don't know what, you, what we can expect next, but we cannot allow Amazon to just centralize all that power. Google, Facebook, et cetera, all these companies. So I tell you what, the cons to the people who watch Tucker, the people who agree, and, the, and everyone else who's shocked that Vox would praise Tucker and, and actually do a nice sit-down interview with him and respect his position, I tell you this, man, we're all looking at the same problem. We can all agree it's there. Now we need to talk about it. Because if it's not, you know, if we don't solve for this collapse, the small towns are going to go under. People are going to flee to these big cities. It's not going to work out really well. I think we'll end up seeing a digital, you know, the digital economy is emerging and creating new opportunities influencing, for instance, it's a weird circumstance, you know, sell products essentially online, you're a salesperson. But I, I, I think it's going to get a lot worse. Um, I, I, I don't want to read through the whole interview. They say the American conservative, which argued, argues in favor of what it calls Main Street conservatism, praised Carlson's show writing. For too long, conservatives have been beholden to moneyed interests that feel no obligation to the country around them. Main Street conservatism, by contrast, sides with the people in places like Sydney, Nebraska, over the culturally progressive interventionist market absolutist in the centers of power, regardless of which major party receives their dollars. What is happening? The parties are switching, huh? Conservatives now saying we got to control for, you know, for, for, for the, the, to regulate, to protect our communities, trade protectionism, etc. I tell you what, you'll find that real liberals and conservatives agree on almost everything. For real. There is just a list of wedge issues that we disagree on. When I say almost everything, because I'm talking about like, what kind of pizza do you like? What kind of cheeseburger do you like? What kind of soda do you like? Most, most Americans, liberal, conservative, we agree on like 99%. We disagree on like core cultural things. I'll tell you what, you'll find a lot of, a lot of liberals don't like country music. <laughs> but for the most part, we get, we get along, you know? You can, go, you, you can go from an urban to a rural area, vice versa, and have no problems. That's a good thing. 
So when, when I see stories about conservatives talking about stopping, you know, rampant, destructive capitalism, I'm not surprised you know, I'm not going to pretend to be surprised like these lefties are that Tucker Carlson's talking sense. He sat down with Jen Uger. They agreed on a lot of things. So I, I you know, I, I guess my question to you guys for the segment is may, maybe I didn't get the point that I wanted to make for the most part, but do you agree with Tucker Carlson on this? Or are you going to fall in a more libertarian camp where it's like, hey, man, think, you know, it's going to happen. Do we let, like, what, what, what do we do about Amazon, for instance? You know, what do we do to solve for the collapse of these industries? Do we, do we recognize times change. I mean, Blockbuster's gone. Nobody's crying about that. A lot of people lost their jobs and Blockbuster went away. Um, I'll throw, I'll, I'll leave it here. There's a few ideas to go through, you know, the, the strange issue, instance of Vox praising Tucker. Hey, I love it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. I, let's do more of this because normally they just want to smear him as like a white supremacist or a far right guy. But then we got a lot to talk about. We got um, automation and um, the, the collapse of the physical retail space is going to change our economy in a lot of ways. What's our solution? I'll, I'll leave it there. I don't know. I, 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 I wanted to talk about this mostly for, for these variety of ideas. It's funny to see Vox talking about uh, uh, Tucker this way. But also, you guys know that I'm a fan of Andrew Yang. So let's see. Uh, let me know what you think. Comment below. Stick around. I got another segment coming up in a few minutes, and I will see you all shortly.